Hey everybody, it's time for the Disc Only Podcast. Welcome to the Disc Only Podcast, the podcast that always tries to be on the first Tuesday of the month, yet somehow gets stopped from being right then and there. I'm Proton John, and I have been traveling for way too freaking long this past month. I'm Tom, and I am the first Tuesday of the month. I am stopped. I, um... I'm Stephen George. I've drank a lot of Fanta. <laughs> like today or over your lifetime? No, 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 not over my lifetime. It's it's recent. <laughs> and I'm Jared, and I'm here. Hello. You got one Hello. of them Texas three liters just sitting in your in your uh no in your office right now? No, it's 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 the opposite problem, actually. Okay. It's not All in right. your house and you're just going to no. places drinking it? Uh, maybe it's no, or maybe it's no, the it's... fact that like he'd be uh he He's been drinking so much of it that now he needs to expel it, and that's what the listen, opposite is. <laughs> I th- no, it, listen, we can get into this. I think that this is a good topic. This will probably take about 30 minutes of the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? So here's, here's, here's what's been going on in my life lately, and, and I, can, I can get into that pretty easily. So the issue that I have had, and I think that this is probably very relatable. I think <clears> there's probably a lot of people that – they're like, hey, no, I, I totally get this. I'm in the exact same boat. Um, is that, you know, let's say you went to the store, and that store was Costco. You went to the Costco, and you, you, you decided you wanted to pick up some, some, some beverages. You wanted to pick up some, some sodas. And the problem is you decide to get, I, I, I don't know what they call them in Canada, John, maybe like a combo pack or like a, like a mini drink. But here, it's a variety pack. We, so, we use English as well, Stephen. It's also I don't know a variety pack. I, want to, I just want to, I, I just want to, to, to stop right there. A many drink? M-A-N-Y drink? Yeah. A, a drink, drink of many. A many drink, I think, is the, the colloquial name in Canada for the, the variety pack in America. No, it anyway, is not. No, I, I, it, it is, I think is, I would know. No, I, no, really? No, 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 no. They really? Speak, they speak, I, listen, okay, they speak tell French. me more about my country, dude. I'm they speak sure. French up there, so it's drink du many. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, no, I think I've seen that before. That makes sense to me. So, anyway, so you go into the Costco, um, or, you know, you're in Canada. I don't know what they call them there, like Costco <laughs> or something. And it's the, the same drink. company! <laughs> Exit Co is spelled C E C E A U X. Costco. So the the issue is that you 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 decide you're going to get you know one of these combo packs, and it's got a drink in it that nobody wants to drink, and that drink is Fanta. And what happened was we went we went and we got this this variety pack. And we drank all the other varieties except for the Fanta. And then we drank a bunch of other stuff in the fridge to the point it was time to, like, get more drinks. And I was like, well, everyone seemed to like the other stuff in that variety pack. So we bought another variety pack. But we did that, and no one had drank the Fanta from the first time. So now there is so much Fanta in the house that I have taken it upon myself to drink the Fanta... Because if we don't, there won't be room for things that are non-Fanta. And well, it's it's causing me a great deal of, like, mental stress <laughs> to, drink, to drink the Fanta. Have you thought of donating food or Fanta? I assume you will find <laughs> someone <laughs> in, I, in the area you live in that would willingly drink Fanta. And be actually so very happy about is, it. The problem is, John, is that no one actually likes Fanta. Like, no <laughs> one on Earth likes Fanta. There's I'm a number even... of people in the chat that have said they want this Fanta. Mail I, it I, out to your very, viewers. I don't... They're very mistaken. So, oh, sorry. I should have clarified. This is Fanta Orange. What's wrong with Fanta Orange? That's like I don't know, Fanta. John. Nobody also, likes it. 
Also, like, I I'm imagining, like, like when you said donating, John, I'm imagining Stephen going to, like, a food bank where people are donating, like, pallets of, like, cans of beans and whatnot. He comes up with a 20-ounce bottle of Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> Stay would still take it, I'm pretty sure. it's It still goes saying, to someone. You know, I've I've been working through it, and, you know, the I, you know what the worst part is, Jonathan? Yes? It's that... It's that the cans are small. <laughs> they're not even is, real size cans. Is they're, that they're really the problem? That's the biggest pro Yeah, it's, it's clearly the largest problem. I thought that was so, the opposite. So they're so they're they're those kinds of cans where it's like the they're they're I can't remember what it's it's a they're, metric they're unit of cans. Of can. They're just mini yeah. cans. And like but uh but they're more like those what kinds of cans are in, more more used for like mixing drinks than like than drinking them outright. Like what do they call cans? them in Canada, though? Cans. Canada. They're called mini cans. Okay. So here, I don't know what they're called, but it's probably something different. But I'm, it's, I'm you pretty only get sure it's seven, mini cans. You only get 7.5 fluid ounces. And the, the worst part is that the can is so physically small. And my hands are very large. Like, if you were to... If, if we were hanging out and you were like, could you hold all of this meat? Like, I can hold so much meat in my hands. Why do you and know then, that you can hold so much meat? Because you do a barbecue, John, and people hand you steak. Use a plate! It, wait, before you cook it, someone has to hold the steak, John. With a, a plate! plate. They have, can hold the steak. They have the steak, and they have to give it to you to hold the steak before they give you, you the it. plate <laughs> and you and, put it and now the on the, the grill the ceremonial holding of the steak so i'm I, saying th this, this is not how you tenderize a steak john this uh, has nothing to do with anything <laughs> that it, it's i'm just trying to make a it's a metaphor you're the one who went from how, Fanta to steaks <laughs> How much it's steak just, are you holding in this situation? No, we're diverting just, here. Bro, this, okay, so the Santa we're, has. We were, we were flying from. We were flying from like from from L. A. to Laguardia, and we're diverting to to Denver. <laughs> like, what, how much steak are you holding here, bro? You the Santa has seeped into his brain. Is what's going on here? Most human beings <laughs> can hold four steaks. That's just a steak fact. How many steaks? No, 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 no. How many steaks are you holding at a time, Stephen? I can hold. Eight you can. Steaks. No, 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 no. You can. How many have you held at one point? I have held eight. Why do My you name. know that number off the top of your head? It happens in life, John. This is such a basic. I can't help you. I no, it is not. <laughs> I am. I am flummoxed here. I need a. I need a, like a dia, uh, like a diagram and a description of how you're holding these stakes. You have two hands. It's four in each hand. How? I don't even know where to begin with all of you. This has nothing you to holding, do with steak. Are you steak. like? Have you got How one finger steak? jamming Everything each steak? Everything to do I with hold, Fanta. I can no, hold no, no. nine steaks. We're still on the steak here. <laughs> like how big are the steaks? Hey. It's a standard steak unit. What is, is it? Like strip loins? <laughs> do you not know? What the hell an SSU is? It's a I standard steak I unit, Tom. Ounces. I know milliliters. How many milliliters of steak you go are you to holding, any Steven? Butcher. Milliliters you go to of liquid any butcher measurement. You tell them. How many tell grams them you of steak? One SSU. John, I need. Hold me. <laughs> is that part of the imperial system or is that part of the metric system? It's neither. It's a butcher system. Which butcher is using this? All the butchers. All the butchers. I can Every call Every butcher, butcher right knows now about and say, SSU. Hey, give me one <laughs> standard steak unit of steak, and they give me one standard steak unit of steak. I mean, that seems. They would call the police, Stephen George. They know. Jared knows. Jared <laughs> just said he's held nine steaks. My name is Stephen George, and I hold lots of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I do this a lot. It's kind of really neat. But sometimes when now I get the steaks, I really cannot hold. But if I hold them for too long, then they will get real old. <laughs> they will get real old. Steven, did you just make like like a bunch of money in bits just now? I think I owe each of you some. <laughs> <laughs> you owe some steaks, apparently. Yeah, you, I... you owe us one standard steak unit of steak. And can, equals... I get, can I get a standard steak unit of chicken instead? That equals to about 
uh, 12 ounces of steak. Anyway, my point is... Where, where, did, where, no, no, you were reading that. Where did you read that from? No, I just made it up. <laughs> you very frick. convincing. Just really so, Steven, convincing. so, Steven, at any given time, it's, can it's hold, confidence. and I think I'm doing this calculation correctly, 96 ounces of steak. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh, he's, he lifts. <laughs> Bro, how so, much do you lift, bro? Yo, I, I lift eight steaks. <laughs> Listen, you're either out there lifting steaks or you're not. I don't know what to tell like, you. I, I'm see, just going to say, like, are, are people eating the steaks after you hold them and lift them? Or just like... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the whole thing is a part of the marination process, John. Wait, so, well, no, no, okay, no, no, so I wait, mean... Steven. Okay, hang on, hang on. Now, you've got you've got me here now. Oh, God. D Steven is I'm marinating so the steaks <laughs> with his fingers, okay? So, does he secrete... Barbecue sauce? Is that what we are <laughs> arguing now? <laughs> no, Do you not like the word secrete? He, he secretes <laughs> marinade. I have never secreted a sauce. <laughs> oh, frick me, dude. And if anyone oh. says that, I will I will take them to court for defamation. <laughs> no one has no one can prove that anything has come out of my pores other than okay you know what I, I i i was lying it's he doesn't secrete a sauce he secretes a dry rub <laughs> it's like it's like flaky <laughs> oh somehow that was worse than secreting oh i know it's, that's the best part <laughs> my watch just warned me i'm in a loud environment <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that's my favorite thing that has happened <laughs> So anyway, Stephen, you really could just bring the Fanta to like a food food bank uh, or something like that. I yeah. miss see, you see, how much, see how much steak you could trade it for. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> one Fanta noted, for one steak. But, I, but also, <laughs> I am actively, I'm actively drinking a Fanta. Marinade the steak in the Fanta. That no. is a thing. People will do that. That's actually a thing. Yep, yep. it's called it's called Fantastic. I hate that. Actually, it's no, I actually love called, that. It's not actually called Fantastic. I made it up. Uh, see, <laughs> okay, now really listen. Good. Okay, so now it's one to one, Tom. We're, <laughs> we're making up facts, and they're going to, they're like, every I time cannot, John's going to be like, was that real? <laughs> I cannot believe that you two would just make things up on this show. <laughs> Do you think anybody would go on the internet and lie? Uh, never, That's never. Unbelievable. Said George Washington. <clears throat> see, scrapes off the dry. Every Abraham Lincoln. So, yeah, dude, I'm still stuck on that. That was the funniest freaking thing I've ever. Dude. I am, I am stuck on that crap, man. So, how much Fanta can you hold <laughs> in my refrigerator? In your hands, <laughs> or you just whatever how much steak you could hold within your hands. How much Fanta can you hold in your hands? I swear to God, Mallory George, <laughs> Mallory George, you son of a. Mallory just brought me another Fanta. <laughs> Let it go, bestie. Yeah. I that, haven't that even right finished the first one. I have a little left. That right there. That that is that that's is true a, love. That's true that love. That's right true there. love right there. You're gonna you're after drinking all those. You're gonna go downstairs to uh to to Mal and you're gonna start playing a little flute. And you're gonna go. <laughs> Bumpa lumpa dunk a dee duck. I told you that Fanta just sucks. <laughs> God, man, it's a very musical episode. I love it. Apparently, <laughs> there's uh. nothing. There's no. They put no flavors in the Fanta. It's just. What? What about the orange? It's barely there. It's like, oh my God! Did you bring? They one? brought me another Fanta. <laughs> Why would you do two? <laughs> They? Wait, is there a conspiracy of people bringing you Fanta? S Steven, d uh, do me a favor and don't open your P.O. box this month. Oh my uh, god. I think this is why he was talking about the stakes. Like, the stake was a diversion away from the Fanta, because the Fanta squad is there now. <laughs> no, it's he actually, wanted it's to get back. the Fanta no, no. dancers he, are showing up he, and bringing him Fanta. He wanted well, to get back Fanta. on the Fanta. I derailed us. I, I, was, I took us from LaGuardia to Denver and talked about stakes. Mal brought me... Mal brought me a Fanta. And then Brandon <laughs> brought me a Fanta. <laughs> don't you want to? Like, so what you're saying is, in about five minutes, Mal's going to show up again with another Fanta, <laughs> or, or, Dan, or Dan's going to abandon his post and walk to your house <laughs> to bring you a Fanta. <laughs> I, Bro, I lose my freaking mind. I can't drink 
I'm not this that far away. <laughs> you know what it says on the Fanta? You know what it says? Orange. It says contains no juice. Yeah, it's a pop. <laughs> but Bruh. isn't that isn't that like the saddest thing you've ever heard? Isn't not, that not that far away from like baby shoes never worn? Like that's <laughs> not not really because it's not a pop. It's like a pop. It'd be like if Pepsi said no real juice it's, in it. It's all right. just the saddest well, like, thing that you can write on a if, can. If if Coca Cola came out and said their beverage was ten percent juice, I would be worried. All right, so I I got something that actually is accustomed to this. So, have y'all ever seen the uh, like the strawberry aqua frescas in the uh, in the big cans? So I thought that they were like an actual like juice drink, and I got completely scammed because I love them. But they contain three percent juice, and they're like worse than soda, and I'm so oh. upset. <laughs> you're, you're talking about the you're talking about those ads that come up every time where it's like the woman in the convenience store, and like the and, and suddenly like breaks into like a, like a like a uh, like a hip hop song, like 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 a groove. Oh, I've never seen the ad. No. Oh. Um, but that, I, I have drank the drink, and it's really good. But it's not good for you. Those, oh God. Those, those <laughs> are- <laughs> I've just drank so explode. much Fanta. That he's is a man explode. suffering. <laughs> he's oh. he's just full of Fanta. <laughs> oh God. Jesus. That was that was <laughs> a visceral best. one too. That was that was I know. Good. That that sounded like the man was in pain. Well <laughs> sometimes there's pain. Like like I mean, like in this life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you, Stephen George. Just I mean, I just want, I, you know, anyone out there that's like, th- th- why is everything hurt? Well, yeah. are you drinking a lot of Fanta? That's the first <laughs> question that you should ask yourself because if that's you, you might be me. You're getting yourself the soda pains. Okay, so, <sighs> god damn, man. <laughs> Uh, he, he's gonna start floating. He's, he's, he's consuming all the fizzy lifting drinks. Consume. I've just been making all the Willy Wonka references. I was gonna today. say he already belched, so he's fine. That's how That's they true. save themselves in the movie. They didn't get murdered in Willy Wonka's murder factory. <laughs> get sucked up the uh, the chocolate tube, bloat into a giant blueberry, become Which, tiny. Yeah, and. Uh... The taffy machines, the last one I remember. I forget what happened to the taffy machine. Oh, yeah, the, they went down the rejected slide. That's what it was. The uh, makers of that movie were into some weird stuff. I think that was the, mostly the, from Ra- the book. Ra- Ra- Raw Dahl was into well, some sorry, weird stuff. Sorry, sorry, Raw Dahl was, yeah. I, I, I always forget that it was made from a book. <laughs> Check that sucker out of the library. And people are like, mm. Someone in chat said, Tom, I hope you realize you're proving Jack completely correct with every reference you make. <laughs> <laughs> That was just like that one time. <laughs> yeah, just just like episode fifty of Yu Gi Oh. Oh my god! Where you know Loomis and Umbra dueled against Kaiba and Yugi, and one of them fell into a building. <laughs> fell Jack into a building. Funny. Yeah, they're on the, in that episode. They're on a roof with a glass. They're on the oh, roof that of with a glass okay. ceiling. Yeah. Or I guess in the English dub, it's that they fall into the shadow realm and not fall <coughs> to a horrible death at the bottom of a building. I love I love the allegory for Shadow Realm in that show. It's amazing. It's so you can get funny. A, you can get away with anything in that show as long as they get sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh yeah. Want to chop somebody's legs off? Cool. They're going to get sent to the sent to the Shadow Realm when they lose their ankles. It's like throw someone one... off throw someone off a building and get sent to the Shadow Realm. Give someone a put someone in a coma. They're in the Shadow Realm. There was like an episode of Pokemon where the guy like pulls a gun and puts it right in Ash's face. <laughs> like, yeah, send that, that mother one, cricket to the Shadow Realm as well. That, that, that one is dubbed but never saw the light of day in the US. Yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. They were they were so like adamant of, of, about like about like <laughs> That kind of thing. I, I they, there's probably already issues with anime in the U.S. as it was, but like Dragon Ball's um, H I uh, H F I L, Home for Infinite Losers, instead of Hell. Yeah, yeah. God, man, I, I need to I need to go back and watch some Dragon Ball. It's been a little while. I've been playing too much Fighters, man. I freaking miss it. We we get on this subject so often, so quickly. <laughs> Dragon Ball, man. It's it like so. Whenever people ask y'all like, what's your favorite anime? Like. The one that doesn't come up 
for me is Dragon Ball, even though it is my favorite anime, because it's the, it's definitely the one that I've watched the most, right? And I would say that like it has definitely um, it's entertained me more than any other anime, in my personal opinion. But like it never pops in my head because it's just so ingrained in in culture that it just doesn't like pop out, right? Like I'll usually say like Trigun or Yu Yu Hakusho or That's a good like. One. Uh, Outlaw Star is one of my favorites. Um, but like Dragon Ball Z, for some reason, doesn't come to mind because it's just it's so ingrained in my in my psyche that it's just like, I don't I don't even know, man. It's 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 weird that that one does not pop up in my head. I, I'd say that Dragon Ball is more my favorite anime than Dragon Ball Z. I like the the original, like the 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 sense of like adventure and like yeah. the more focus on like martial arts and choreography was was fantastic in the original dragon ball then, I agree. It, then you got the z and it just ended up being a numbers game well z was the one that i grew up with like like toonami freaking they had z on there and i was watching from tree of might onward and i was insanely hooked um like that was just my jam whenever Ooh, I was did you watch the big did you watch the uh, the big green dub of tree of might the big green dub you never heard of the big green dub i i think i, I, I have? don't I don't know what company it is, but one of the first uh, Dragon Ball media that was ever like introduced to the U.S. was this one company that got a hold of it and tried to dub a bunch of the movies. Mm. Um, and they are so awful. They are <laughs> they, they are incredible. They are they are just so bad. Um, oh, is that where "Let That Child Alone" let the, comes let from? "Let That Child Alone." That's where that's where uh, uh, instead of called Pickle, he's called Big Green. Um, yeah yeah okay i know what you're talking about i have not actually seen it but i've seen the memes of it <laughs> i've seen like people reference it there's like there's one bit where where like krillin is jumping into battle and he's like don't worry goku i'll take care of us and, and goku goes uh, no like uh you're not strong enough you can't take it and then he gets like he gets punched and he does like the like the like the flying away effort like it's like krillin's flying away He's like, ah, and then for some reason in a normal voice, he, like while he's miles and miles away, still flying goes, you're right. Why did I do that? <laughs> God bless, man. They did. They did Tree of Might. They did Lord Slug. <clears throat> they did Broly. Uh, the I a, think the they AB did... Group dub was an English dub of films for the Dragon Ball franchise produced by the French company AB Group. It's colloquially mm. known, referred to as the Big Green dub due to Piccolo being renamed Big Green. <laughs> AB Group's dub was also known as the Tanami UK dub and Bridge Entertainment dub. The dub covered all the original films and TV specials that Toei produced between 86 and 97, with the exception of the Dragon Ball Z movies 10 to 13 and Dragon Ball The Path to Power. Wow. They were busy. Oh, they also scream Kamehameha all the time when they're not doing the Kamehameha. Oh it's my great. god. When they're powering up to Super Saiyan, Kamehameha! Dude, that's just freaking priceless. Did I ever tell you that I started to dub the second Ace Ventura movie? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's already in English. Yeah, well, no, <laughs> yeah, well, we changed all the words. Recently? No, no, Dude, that's, no. That's not okay. a dub, that's a rewrite. <laughs> yeah, well, a second, we'll call it an alternative. Though. Ace Ventura, the abridged series. Brought to you we by did, Fanta. We did it in, in, in high school. And in order to get the the movie onto the computer, we had I had the VHS and I we captured the VHS yep. to get it onto the computer. That's how you and did we, it. We hmm. edited it in like Pinnacle Studio three or whatever. And uh yeah, it was um <laughs> it took Excuse a long me. time to, to do. We ended up getting through like twenty something minutes of the film, which is much further than we ever had any right to get. <laughs> <laughs> you just get to one point in the movie, it's like, do we still want to do this? <laughs> yeah, it was it was taking a long time because computers were bad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah this was a terrible idea. <laughs> and uh Oh god <laughs> <laughs> Oh Christ <laughs> <sighs> oh god dude oh, holy crap <laughs> i'll call an ambulance this man that, is that's from powerful that was a powerful belch i have I... an unopened can of fanta on my desk <laughs> i I'm thought these were mini cans with... steven you're still under a liter 
You, first off, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how much Fanta I've drank? <laughs> <laughs> so much. Make and sure it's to so rate bad this show because... five stars on Apple Play or whatever. You're <laughs> Nobody <laughs> even likes it. If it was maybe a different flavor, like uh, I strawberry. Don't know. Yeah, red the, Fanta. Is it, my, yeah, stra- my strawberry dude, Fanta, pineapple sink Fanta, or something at this Fanta. Point. Listen, John, I don't know. Stinga. I don't know where you came from. I know that it's <laughs> like Canada, but where I came from, we have really strong uh, food waste beliefs, and so what we do. So we donate the food. <laughs> So what we do is we drink all of the soda. So what we do is at closing time, every day at Dunkin' Donuts, we take all the old donuts and throw them in the trash can and make sure to to, uh, to sully them so that way no one can have donuts for free. Do you want to know about one of the happiest days of my life, Tom? <laughs> Go for it. Was it when you sullied all the donuts at a Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> no, that's, ooh, that's a bad phrase. So, <laughs> so, sorry, I have to take off my glasses. Okay. He's oh, this is so emotional weird. now. This, get the Sarah McLaughlin playing. Hold on, hold on. We, we, you, you know that there's a lot of emotions running high when Steven has to take something off. When he fell asleep during the podcast and woke up, he's like, I gotta take off my socks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I try not to tell people when I'm taking things off, but sometimes I just have to. So I'm t- oh, it took off my glasses. So there was a time, Dan, Dan was a part of this. Dan, Dan was there for this emotional journey. We went to the mall, and it was closing time at the mall, and we were walking through the oh, mall. Oh, pretzel time! And we walked by an Auntie Anne's pretzel, and the 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 teenage kid who was working the counter was cleaning everything up, and he saw me and Dan, and uh, we had Alex and Taylor there too, and he was like, "Hey, do y'all want some pretzels?" I'm just going to throw them away. And, you know, I I started to cry because <laughs> I've always been that level of excited about pretzels. And we took what was two giant bags of Auntie Anne's pretzels home. And it was everything. It was like the normal pretzels. It was the, the pretzels that they're the same thing, but they're smaller. It was the <laughs> kind that had the cinnamon... It was the kind that had the 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 hot dogs inside. It was the whole. It was a smorgasbord of two giant bags of pretzels, and you know between that and my the day I got married, it's very hard to decide what was <laughs> wow in my life. Wow, <laughs> Stephen, I love you, man. Oh well, my god, I, I need to I need to ask you a couple uh, a couple questions. How long did those bags last? Minutes. Okay. <laughs> That answers, four that, of us. that answers my second question because I was honestly wondering <laughs> I was honestly wondering if it lasted more than like two days if you kept any of the hot dog pretzels. No, we did not. Well, Everything you ate them, obviously. Consumed. Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> I had a friend in uh, in high school who worked at a, at a cafe. Um, it, it used to be an individual business. Now it's a, now it's a Dunkin' Donuts. But... Uh, every time he would close, uh, and he had it out for his managers too, and they didn't really like, like check this kind of thing, but every time he closed, he would just like take a new trash bag and fill the whole thing up with, uh, with, you know, the donuts and the bagels and whatnot, and then take it out back where the cameras couldn't see him, uh, like under the guise he's going to throw it away and then just took it with him. <laughs> that's, that's Brilliant. smart. I mean, so like, smart. there's no, there's no need to like waste the food, you know. Like, if you have no. a way of, if you have a way but of money. saving it or enjoying money, it. yeah, that's that's the main thing. <clears throat> oh, there we go. <laughs> While you've been talking about Fanta, I've been uh, <laughs> revamping my uh, my. Uh, I've been practicing the sword. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power of God in anime. I've harnessed the blade. <laughs> Uh, I've been re- revamping my uh, my art folder. I have a bunch of like sketches and stuff. I've been going through. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, just the way you phrase it. It's like, while you were talking about Fanta, I studied the blade. I've been studying the blade. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was oh God, help born me! Born in the Fanta, I was nurtured by. <laughs> Moon and by. All right, Bane. <laughs> oh, Batman! You're oh. you're merely adopted the Fanta. Don't you want a? It. Don't you want a Batman? Want a Fanta? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I've got the Fanta girls here. They are now Bane Fanta girls. <laughs> I'm not very creative with names. <laughs> But I have all of the flavors, including orange and grape and strawberry and whatever the yellow one is. Probably lemon. I think it's pineapple. Oh, yeah, you know, that makes sense. I want lemon soda. It, it exists. It's called Sprite. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's right. Yeah, that's Sprite. Lemon and lime. I hate that. And, and also, yeah, pineapple <laughs> is, the yellow is pineapple. Or Seven Up, or or Fresca, or Sierra Mist. <laughs> yeah, but these are these are lem these are lemon and lime. I only need half. <laughs> well, then just drink half the can. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> chemistry, or, uh, chemistry works right there. Absolutely. Flawless. Get out your centrifuge and just drink half the can. That's all you gotta see, do. I want to see somebody take the lemon and the lime and do a 50 50 like split between them. I want to see that happen. Freaking get Mr. Manhattan up in here to do that crap. Yeah, like. Molecule by molecule, <laughs> yeah. the lemon and lime flavors out of. Uh, so what you're left with is a pile of lemon flavor, a pile of lime flavor, and flavorless soda. Yep. I need to see it happen. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. He's okay. So he's it's in Stockholm clear. syndrome right now because of Fanta. One hundred percent, bro. You no, know, honest everyone. to God, it's <laughs> not that bad. It's just he really <laughs> is. It's really going is. up, dude. He's, oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's come around to it. Stockholm <laughs> syndrome is taking hold. Oh dear, Frick. It's really call not an that ambulance. Bad. Call an ambulance, <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> and he just points this... a Fanta can at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so funny that you're having like the leftover Fanta problem because I had that problem with uh, Arizona half and half, like all. all Arnold Palmer iced tea. Oh, I love Arnold Palmer. So, so my buddy Jacob was down, and this motherfucker buys like, uh, a like like two cases of cheer wine and like two cases of the Arnold Palmer um drink, and he 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 drinks all the cheer wine. That's fine, but he leaves like half of the freaking half and halves. I'm like, bro, do not leave those at my house. He's like, I can't take them with me. I'm like, what do you mean you can't <laughs> take them with? You're driving, so so. He leaves them in my house, and then a couple days later, I see myself at the store buying the big cans of the freaking Arnold Palmer because I drank some of them. I'm like, oh, my God. They're good. <laughs> All the wasted years, dude. Like, that crap is amazing. Yep. Freaking love it. So uh, I, I feel you, Steven, on the uh, leftover soda. I mean, fun fact, they like they sell Arnold Palmer just like as it is, like iced tea and, uh, and lemon uh, lemonade. It's, yeah. supposed to have, it's supposed to have booze in it. Yeah, no, it's like a... Uh, like a, I don't even know what the word would be. Alcoholic? I, so, I, well, yeah, no, it's not alcoholic. I, I so I'm silly, and I was 32 years old the other day. Whenever I learned why hard drinks are called hard drinks and soft drinks are called soft drinks, because hard has like alcohol liquor in them or whatever yeah. alcohol in them, and soft drinks yep. don't. Yep. I was 32 years old when my mind made that connection. You've uh, you've you've just made that connection for me right now. I wait, really. I did not know soft drinks are called soft drinks because they were the antithesis of hard drinks. Yeah. If you put them to, if you put them together, it actually e e uh, equals out and they just vanish into thin air. Yeah, that's just drinks. What, what would be a firm, <laughs> a firm drink? There we go. Couldn't think like soft. There's like a soft and hard mattress. Yeah. So what's in between, what's in between a soft and hard mattress? Like a comforter, like comforter drink. I don't know, right? When I'm thinking of a comforting drink, it's not uh, Fanta. It, it's, it's a ginger not ale. I, <laughs> no, I, I think he's ale. being won over to Fanta at this point, based on how many he's had this podcast. 
This is the most amount of liquid I've ever drank during the podcast. This this podcast is sponsored by Fanta, but I really wish it was. <laughs> he's gonna fall asleep for, for a different reason this time. Yeah, he's, he's gonna he's gonna have a sugar crash. Yeah. Oh my god. Each of the tiny cans is fifty four percent of your daily sugar. Uh-huh. Oh not, God! That's, it's not that's... even good. It's not even <laughs> worth it. It's not like eating a donut. Yeah. It's nothing like eating a donut. Diabetes insulin counts. <laughs> Diabetes. It's not. <laughs> God, if you're gonna have something bad, it should be like God intended. It should be so, a donut. Go, it going shouldn't off, be going, Fanta. Going off of, going off of like uh like l leaving like one thing behind. When I was a kid, we'd buy those like three packs of General Mills cereals that came with Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charms, and Tricks. And Tricks was always left for last. Like the and like we wouldn't get new cereal until like all the old one was gone. So and no and like even when it was there, nobody would go for it. So like the Cocoa Puffs and Lucky Charms would go immediately, and then we would just have a we would just have like a bag of of like an opened almost full bag of tricks for like three weeks before we finally start digging into it to get more cereal. Now, question though, were they the ones that were actually shaped like they were the... shaped? Yeah, th this okay, was long good. enough. This was long enough to go where they were shaped like uh shaped like fruit. So there's and a really the, and not the money saving tricks puffs. Yeah, so there's like a really funny um like anecdote that goes with that. It's like. Wow, tricks actually were for kids because whenever we grew up, we couldn't, we can't see them as the uh, actual yeah. shapes anymore. That's actually a brilliant marketing campaign. <laughs> I wonder. I, I actually, I kind of wonder if uh, if they would do that for cinnamon toast crunch as well, where they like hide the cinnamon better so you can't see it anymore. So now that you're an adult, it, you can't see the taste. You know, you know what I've been freaking addicted to recently is uh, frosted mini wheats. Those like, are good. Yeah, like, and I had, oh man, so whenever we went to MomoCon, like, we usually pack, like, uh, food for the room so that we have stuff to where we don't have to eat out every single day, which I recommend doing, it saves it saves a good amount of money, um, but, like, we go to the store, and I, we ended up getting a, a bunch of stuff, and I got me a box of, uh, of uh, Frosted Mini Wheats, and it is what I like to call a, I can't remember how I said it before, but a tier five box of cereal. And it's like every single piece of that cereal was 100% coated in like it was perfect. It was Ooh. one of the best boxes of cereal I've ever had in my life. A tier five box because sometimes you get the freaking frosted mini wheats and there's like no sugar and it's like all brownie brown kind of and it's like Ew, it's the bottom of the barrel. Ew. No, that's a tier one a tier gross is what the, a tier zero. But there man, oh dude, I had me a big old freaking like a good box like have you have you oh. ever have you ever accidentally bought a box of like frosted wheat and uh, uh, like yeah. yep. <laughs> and, and so like you go to pour it out and just a giant chunk falls out of it instead yeah oh man you know what's funny is like i actually used to that's prefer like, the big ones i liked the big ones earlier in life that's that that is a <laughs> that is a a, 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 a a single frosted wheat like one of those big ones is just a uh, uh, oh god, what the hell are those called? Um, a it, it's just a pop tart that's gone through a fabric spinner. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong actually. And I, I think what the funny thing about those big ones are is like eight of them or something like that is yeah. it's oh like, my a, god. like a serve, a serve yeah. <laughs> good god, man. Just freaking yo, <laughs> one. Two, you pull them out of the box one by one. You make a little brick house, play Jenga with it, like whatever the freak you want to do. Oh god! Oh, wasn't that the uh, that was like playing with your food? I guess that was kind of the basis for the, those uh, those commercials early on for Frosted Mini Wheats, where it was like uh, the adult in me likes that this is a wheat cereal that is a uh, you know you know good good for me, and then like it is like a flip, and it's like but the kid in me likes the fact that it's frosted. I. I like kind of remember that. Those were those were really old commercials. They did a play on it in Family Guy where he didn't turn back <clears throat> into an adult after after he showed oh. the frosted side. Oh, okay. Uh, so, oh, go ahead. Something that's in a brown uh, square. Something that's <laughs> an enigma to me. 
but I think like the one of the main like breakfast cereal uh, commercials that I remember are the freaking Pop Tart ones where it's like crazy good like at the end of it, like that stuck with me and I don't know why. I forgot which, I forgot which. Uh, wait, what, what product was that again? Because I remember Pop, the crazy goods. That was Pop Tarts. Tarts, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because he's like popping out of the toaster and he's like crazy good. Oh yeah, or whatever. yeah. I remember the ones that looked like they were done by Don Hertzfeld. Where it was just like the very simple, the ver the very simple like uh like ink drawings and like a white background. Oh Remember yeah, those? yeah. But there was no my spoon is too big. Or no, anything like there that. was they no were actually cursed. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, my anus is bleeding. <laughs> God. Uh, J John, what is your favorite uh, cereal? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Okay, what is your favorite breakfast item? <clears throat> All right, no, so no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. so here's the thing, because he's because I know Steven's gonna say there's lactose free milk, which is correct. But that's uh, not what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh well now I need to know. Now I need to know. I was gonna say, how dare you think that you need milk to eat cereal? <laughs> <laughs> you can have what you can eat cereal dry just fine. As long as George Washington doesn't come by <laughs> <laughs> scrape off all the dry. We have not explained that on this podcast yet, have we? We not we, every not everyone would have seen that. We we well, will have to. That's really we alluded to it, I believe. Then we got sidetracked by Stakes and Fanta. So basically, what happened was Stephen Stephen had to sing like several songs in a row in a stream because he's got that he's got a the the redeem where like he sings an improv song, and one of them was about moist nuts, and then s someone had him continue, and uh, part of the process of getting. Moist nuts is having George Washington come by and scrape off all the dry with his wooden teeth. Yeah, with his wooden teeth. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm only saying the things that I, you know, I, I think make sense. <laughs> <laughs> what? And, 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 uh, <laughs> and then you break down laughing afterwards. <laughs> Man, when you when you hit that wheeze, I lost my freaking. Mine, man, that was so funny. Yeah, you've got a good wheeze. Like that, that, it's, it's, it, that, that's like the, that's a good infectious <laughs> laugh. There. It's, it's the sound of me dying. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of of the life force literally leaving my body. Well, you've got. Well, no, no, it's not because laughter laughter brings joy and life to all. But you've got like that. You've got that like that that raspy wheeze that's like really good. Mine is like mine is very like 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 I don't know what you call it like. <gasps> Whereas, whereas yours has a lot of like the like the the back of the throat, you know what I'm saying? Mine, mine is just an explosion. Like I don't get the wheeze. I'm just like, bah, bah, bah. I can't freaking stop myself. Uh, but John, what is your favorite breakfast item then? <clears throat> no, I mean I'll answer cereal because like I I used to uh, do what are they the uh, like almond milk and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and like, dude, some of that stuff is awful. Some of it's terrible. Some of it's good. Some of it's just yeah. like, absolute garbage. Depends on what you get. <clears throat> but, so, uh, so I guess I, I guess that takes me back to my first question: What is your favorite cereal? So here's the thing: I don't think you guys have this in the states, or if you did, it was under a different name. Shreddies. Yeah, I've heard yeah. of Shreddies. Yeah, yeah. Er er Erica, I think, got me. Well, maybe she got me. Okay, so that dude, y'all have freaking maple flavored uh, frosted mini up there. Those are banger. I wish yeah. we had those down here, but we don't. But I don't think they're the same thing. I uh, yeah, I've never, I've, uh, we've never had shreddies, but I've heard it uh, talked about before. I guess the closest thing would be uh, wheat checks. They kind of yeah, look like wheat checks or like life cereal, but like they taste different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to try that whenever we go to uh, Canada again. Y'all know, y'all know that I'm. A it, it's like here's the thing. It's not like it's like it's specially flavored. Or anything. Like, you can get like the honey flavored ones, the maple flavored ones, whatever. Like those are good too. But like just yeah. the the plain Jane ones were great. Like my my breakfast in the morning would be like a bowl of shreddies, some yogurt, and like some toast or whatever, and like a banana or an apple. And then I got lactose intolerant, and I was just like. Uh, but I didn't realize it for months after it had happened. I was just like, oh, why am I always sick every time I eat breakfast? Oh. <laughs> Makes sense. Like, I, I actually do the uh, the lactose-free milk, like the lactate stuff. Um, it helps my stomach out a lot, too. I, I, I still go and get, like, coffee with regular whole milk in it because that little bit of milk is not going to freak me. But if I eat, like, a big bowl of cereal, like, and I... Man, I go ham. <laughs> I, I I destroy a bowl of cereal whenever I get one. Uh, so yeah, that much milk would freak me out. Yeah, my like fav I, oh, you good. My favorite cereal is 
is it's waffle crisp, but they don't make waffle crisp anymore, but they do make a more like adult oriented version of waffle crisp. Where it's not alcoholic. Where it is, <laughs> no, where, well, no, but like, but like, you know, you know how it is where it's like the, uh, on like some cereal boxes, they got like the colorful mascot or like the bright colors and like a, a lot of like, you know, uh, a, a lot of like interesting shapes. Yeah. But it's like, it's basically like this, the cereal is, is waffle crisp just packaged differently and like, and, catered more towards adults and i can't remember what the name of it is huh i don't know i i, I it's not ringing a bell for me no chat the waffle crisp is not shaped like penises <laughs> what it's, the more you know okay i don't spend a whole lot of time in the cereal aisle at the grocery store but i i feel like i've spent enough time there that that i would have noticed um <laughs> pe penis cereal <laughs> you know have like a, you know, like uh -oh. if, if i you know I, I feel like i would have seen <laughs> penis o's or whatever i don't called. think that's what the o part would be in in the pairing here so or, or, or <laughs> di like like have a bowl of dickies or whatever. Like I, I there feel you like go. I would have. There you go. You ran. You wrote it up yourself. Uh, Just missed those. <laughs> Here's the mascot testicles. <laughs> uh, whenever I wake up in the morning, I love a nice scrotes. Let's go. Would... <laughs> that good. would be incredible. S C R O A T S. <laughs> An oat cereal shaped like scrotum. <laughs> I'm dying. I mean, you can get candy dicks. Like it's a thing. I went to uh, I, I I Google searched uh, waffle crisp just to see what I like if I could find that cereal, <laughs> and I found <laughs> I found an eBay listing. <laughs> waffle crisp cereal, new and unopened, two boxes, eleven point five ounces each. Expiration date four twenty three. <laughs> oh my god! Have fun. Ugh. That is not what I was looking for. That's also not what I meant either. It's I don't even know, don't even know if Post makes it because it's a Post Waffle Crisp. <laughs> I, I can I can remember it clearly, and it very much was Waffle Crisp. <laughs> I can't say what Clockwork Pretzels just said in chat, but my God, that's good. <laughs> Snap, crackle, cock. <laughs> Thanks for that, Clockwork. That was great. <laughs> Oh, Fred. Chad's got some good ones. I see, I see what a bag of phallic cereals called dildos. <laughs> that's, a, that's a solid one there. That's pretty good. Follow the <laughs> genitals to flavor. Probably is good that we're not sponsored by Fanta. Bro, 13, man. <laughs> no, I think they want a piece of this, man. I think they really do. Oh, Between, see. like, Steven choking and, like, belching Fanta out and, like, complaining that he doesn't <laughs> want more and then talking yeah. about cereal dicks. Like, this is think... this is the podcast you want to sponsor. I think, oh, they'd be, I think they'd be more willing to get behind Steven and be like, Fanta's terrible. <laughs> Bro, we're going to get we're gonna get sponsored Genital by Fanta. Mills. <laughs> no. Wow. Who did Genital that one? Mills. Who did that one? I want to give them a high Artemis five. Did Who that did that one? That's so Artemu. Artemu did that one. That one's Artemis, so that's good. beautiful. Oh, my God, dude. Frick. Y'all trying to kill me tonight. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to need a nice hard bowl of cereal after that. <laughs> <laughs> hard being the key word. Yeah, hard, a hard bowl of cereal meaning that you're putting Baileys in it. Yes. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad that y'all didn't let that fly past y'all. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Is there, there's got to be a list. A list of Are you, you're trying to look at the cereal list? I'm trying to find yeah to see if there are any penis shaped ones. No, I'm looking for the uh, the um I'm looking for that waffle one, that that waffle cereal that I like. Oh, All right, frick. well while, while you're looking this up because uh, <sighs> this reminded me of something we talked about over my other podcast, Top Ten Perspective. Uh, which cereal mascot would win in a fight to the death? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Tony the, I could I, uh, Tony the Tiger is the first one that comes to mind only because I think he'd be fit enough to do it. I think the agreement we came down to was the final fight was Count Chocula versus uh, Tony the Tiger. And it's because, obviously, Tony the Tiger is a sports-addicted, like, steroid-using tiger, and Count <laughs> Chocula is a vampire. 
So, he's a yeah. freaking vampire, yeah. I mean, like, are we counting for intangibility here? Because I think Booberry would would well, Booberry would probably have a lot of draws. He yeah, he has to like solidify to do damage. I would assume at this point. Yeah. Hold on, let me let me look up a list of freaking mascots here. <clears throat> I don't know. I think Tony the Tiger could beat Count Chocula. Worst case scenario, he gets turned into a tiger, a sports addic- addicted tiger vampire that kills Count Chocula. <laughs> Wait, Question, so, Cap- so Tony is a vampire as well? No, he, but, uh, yeah, but worst case scenario is that he gets turned into a vampire by I Count qu- Chocula. I do have a oh, question. I see does, what you mean. Does Captain Crunch have access to his pirate ship? Ooh. Actually, he just blow Tony the Tiger out of the freaking water, literally. Well, uh, let, let's let's go back on that because the captain also has a uh, a magic telescope that quote unquote crunchitizes people. So could he just turn them into Captain Crunch cereal and win that way? <laughs> could turn them into <laughs> Let, let's, <laughs> let's assume that the uh, that they have immunity to like insta kill powers. Let's let's just for, okay for the sake of fairness. Okay. Let's assume so, that so, cereal mascots are immune to being turned into other cereals. Yeah, so so it's not going to be a case of, like, Captain Crunch being like, Crunchitize! Off the cliff with you! There's not... There's, uh... Well, I mean, the Raisin Bran sun is literally the sun. So... I think, I think Tony the Tiger could punch the sun. I think he could. <laughs> it's this fight. Like, you know, a million, the million okay. tigers for one sun or some so... crap like that. So, so hold on. You have to also know that that the the it, it, it it's it's not like I, I don't think it's a giant sun though because it holds up the two scoops of raisins and those aren't giant raisins. Those well, are, are, just, are they giant scoops or are they normal sized scoops? Because if they're tiny ass scoops, then like that's well, just a weak ass. But sun. you can see the raisins in there and they're the size of normal raisins. I'll tell you what. You get some boxes like they put no scoops in there, so I think it's a very tiny sun. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, so it's so a little it, baby it's sun. Like, it, <laughs> so it's like it's like a beach ball sized sun essentially. But but now now hear me out. The sun. I mean that is... would kill Count Chocula immediately though. Yeah, if you if you uh, if you ignite a pin like a head of a pin to the to the uh, the temperature of the center of the sun, it'll kill anything within like a thousand miles of it because of its radiant heat. Are we giving a blow dart gun to the sun? <laughs> what? The, no. the, 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 what the, the sun. Is, if you heat something up that hot, that radiant heat will kill whatever is around it. Yeah. The so sun... we, what we do is we give the sun a bunch of needles and it shoots them out of a blow dart <laughs> and it just is shooting deadly like burning needles. That's well, the, metal as frick is what that is. Okay, so, um, so we, all we have is a beach ball sized sun with two arms that are holding two scoops. That that is that's the combatant we have here today. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Okay. This makes now, the, ba- okay. the Teletubby sun, the little baby sun, sound way more threatening. <laughs> so now who would want to fight the the uh, the sun baby from Teletubbies or the, the Raisin Bran sun? Okay, now I have another question. Does Lucky from Lucky Charms actually have magical powers? I think Count Chocula can beat that, and Tony the Tiger. You think so? Okay. Yeah, because all of all of uh, all of the Lucky Charms mass, all of Lucky's uh, powers are escape based. Yeah, because he spends like his entire commercial is just running away from children. Like he is scared yeah. of kids. <laughs> he is not going to win yeah. against a vampire, the sun, or a tiger. What about okay? What about a bear though? Well, I mean, the sun kind of beats a bear, but what Can't about sugar? Get enough of that sugar crisp, sugar yeah. crisp. Uh, I'm trying to. Sh- I'm trying to. Think. No, but, sugar, but that dude's so no mellow. Able- that dude is not going to start a fight. He's going to fucking go get high. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, uh, well, let's let's say that let's say that Sugar Bear was put in a position where he had to fight. He can. He's broken through a stone wall to get through to 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 get to Granny Sugar Crisp. That sounded wrong, but still. <laughs> I don't mean okay. So so the main combatants here would be the Raisin Bran's son, Tony the Tiger, Count Chocula, or Captain Crunch. Why is this I, the, why, uh, like what about Frankenberry? He's literally just Frankenstein's monster. Are you, you are, are, are all sleeping on Honey Monster? Who's Honey Monster? The one from Honeycomb? No, Honey Monster from the cereal Honey Monster. <laughs> I ain't never oh heard of that. Oh my god! Holy cow! Oh, he's not lying! Screen. Oh, he's not lying! <laughs> you gotta put this on screen. That's our victor right there. What the frick? That looks like honey a monster. <laughs> honey Monster would would start with an appetizer of Toucan Sam. <laughs> there wouldn't be a fight. Honey Monster would just crush him in his hand. To those listening to the audio podcast, Honey Monster looks like. It looks like Grimace's fit cousin, who's also yellow. 
<laughs> fit cousin. He looks like they the baby are... from the dinosaur oh, show. He does. It looks like the baby from the dinosaur. It's just covered in hair. Wow. There are so many wonderful, good, old commercials with the honey monster, and everyone should take some time to watch them. Oh our our performance, our performance enhancing substances allowed in this. If uh, we're allowing in... Tony the Tiger, yes. Okay, uh, I I think. Uh, uh, um, oh God, what is his name? Give me one sec. <laughs> I uh, was Sunny, <laughs> Sunny the Cuckoo Bird, because you just get him with some cocoa puffs, and he's like, and and he could he could probably like like rip Tony in half. Uh, he does kind of go crazy a little bit. Um, just a little bit. No, it's know, not. It's uh, not like he's cuckoo for any particular substance. What about? Oh crap! What is his name? How, would, like Fred, a, how, how would Fred Flintstone fare? Oh god! I mean, he's Who? he's a caveman. He's pretty strong. Hold on. Let me see if I can copy this image here. But he is just a man. The he old... is just a man. <sighs> I can't remember who this mascot's from, but it's like a monster. It's like a like a hairy monster. It looks like Animal from the Muppets, and I can't remember. Oh yeah, the, the that's the one from uh for uh for Honeycomb. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's pre he's pretty freaking deranged looking. Let's be honest. He's deranged, but I don't think he's got any actual fight. He's like a mini yeah. Tasmanian devil that's like half the strength. Yeah, fair. Wait, also, Sh Sh Shreddy's apparently had a mascot called Hunger. <laughs> the, con <laughs> the concept of hunger. Well, like I'm looking at, I'm looking at a Wikipedia list of of uh, list of breakfast cereal advertising characters, and one of them is just called Hunger. And when I click on on uh, Hunger, it just goes to the Shreddies page. It doesn't like. I, I, I feel like I've stumbled into a so, concept advertising Shreddies. So what you're saying is we're gonna we're gonna mascot. we're gonna borrow from the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and make Four Horsemen cereal, and then they're gonna win the mascot wars. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, listen, yeah. uh, listen. If that's the case, if if hunger, let me uh, hold on. I have to. Uh, there's gotta be like hunger cereal mascot. There has to be a physical <laughs> form to this thing. I mean, we already have. I think we have the four horsemen. Oh, of the, the oh, I, oh for real. He, actually, he looks like the. He looks. He kind of looks like the Tasmanian Devil. A little bit. Uh, I'll pop that into in the general chat. <laughs> Which cereal is pestilence? Oh, that's the Tropicana cereal, easily. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's war? Uh, Freaking, uh, I got it. It's it's um. Uh, Captain Crunch, because it destroys your mouth. Yeah, and literally he went to war. <laughs> Accurate. Th this is the so, mascot that uh, Tom just added in here. This was yeah. That's, that that is the concept of hunger. I for, do not uh, recognize this mascot. This must be either before or after my time. Yeah, I I do not know. Let's... So so yeah. So we got war is Captain Crunch. We got famine. Who's famine? Is that hunger? What is famine the cereal that you have to yeah, eat yeah. a ton of to actually get anything out of it? What about, uh, what, are we sleeping on are, are we sleeping on fruit? I was gonna say the, uh, the werewolf. Cornflakes. Uh, I mean, well, that'd be, that'd be like Tony the Tiger. Hmm. No, I don't know if that would work. <laughs> <laughs> I like I this know. conversation. You know how they like use the the, uh, the anthropomorphized uh, cinnamon toast crunch to advertise it now? Yeah. Well, the Weird. old one, the old mascot was called Chef Wendell, and on the list of serial advertising characters says Chef w Chef Wendell defunct. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone should pour one out for Chef Wendell. <laughs> Fanta specifically, because he's dead. Um, he could have just retired. Snap, snap crackle, no? and pop. Oh, you, we, you can't sleep on Cornelius Rooster, the cornflakes mascot. Oh, Cornelius will fuck someone up. Yeah. <laughs> there was a cereal called Cruncheroos in 1990 that had a mascot called Crunchosaurus Rex. That is a pretty sick name. I think what we need to be doing is finding out if any of the cereals had a mascot that was God. Who is Milton the Toaster? What Someone sent God me apparently... Is... Ooh, okay, mmm. Don't like that. Holios. Someone sent me a picture saying that apparently uh, Andre the Giant was a serial mascot for a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, I, you gonna pit Andre the Giant against Tony the Tiger? That I would love to watch that fight. That would be a great fight. Both of them in the that, prime. That sounds if if like if the WWE if uh, the WWE games bring back like the extensive character creator where you could like really mess with their body parts, you could actually just make that match happen. <laughs> I, I found this and it, and it insinuates that. 
that Captain Crunch is Jesus Christ, and that just makes me laugh. The last breakfast. <laughs> To those of you listening to the audio podcast, it's it's an interpretation of the Last Supper with with cereal mascots. Wait, is Toucan so, Sam Judas? I think I think Lucky's Judas. Is it? I forget. I thought uh, Judas was two to his right, so I thought it was Count Chocolate in this case. Uh, I do not looks remember like, the seating at the Last it, Supper. It looks like he's like reaching for something, like a bag, like a bag of something in the uh, Last Supper. Like he's going for the gold or whatever. But yeah. <laughs> where, where is Judas in the Last Supper? This is too uh, funny. Judas sits on the opposite side of the table. So let me see. Um, so it might be Count Chocula's Judas. The opposite side of center? No, okay, <laughs> okay, so it's it's hard to see. Uh, but in that picture, uh, either Snap, Crackle, or Pop are right there, and that's Judas. Oh, Pop. I think that's Pop. <laughs> <laughs> He's so tiny. He's very small. Uh, okay. Also, can we just appreciate the look on Toucan Sam's face as he's grabbing that bowl? <laughs> Not fan, man. <laughs> I followed my nose and I made a horrible mistake. I hate this crap. What the heck? I, so, I, I found that. I found that on Google and I just had to show that to y'all. Also, <laughs> were they arguing at the Last Supper? Because it looks like they're arguing in that painting. I think that that's. They look like they're doing more or less the right poses, actually. <laughs> that it was, it's right after uh, Jesus, Jesus says, "One of you will like, betray me." Yeah, so then they're all like, "Oh my goodness, what?" So uh, it is. So the answer is yes. Uh, Snap, Crackler, Pop is Judas in this. One hundred percent. They probably have their own uh, their own Wikipedia page. Snap, Crackler, Pop. I think Pop is the one in the red. <laughs> so Pop, so Pop is, is Ju Judas. <laughs> Uh, snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Species gnome. Yeah, are they related to the Keebler elves, or is that like just a something that? Well, the Keebler, like... I think the Keebler elves are elves. Snap, crackle, uh, crackle. Yes, snack, snack, <laughs> crackle, crackle, and pop. <laughs> yeah, snack, uh, snack, crackle, and pock are uh, are uh, <laughs> are gnomes. <laughs> like like freaking. Chicken oh, that's pox. Just, that's disgusting. <laughs> The the freaking the pox got me. Oh. Oh man, my throat's gonna I, be freaking sore I by tomorrow. Think, I think God can count <laughs> as a cereal mascot. I forgot he was looking you up with cereal that has God as a mascot. Sorry, I'm just making sure that I do research. Um, <laughs> there is a cereal I've seen it before, and it's called Ezekiel Four Nine. <laughs> And if we if we're willing to assume that the mascot for Ezekiel four nine is God, then I think that would be the serial mascot who could beat Tony the Tiger. All right, uh, take wheat and barley, beans and lentils, millet and spelt. Put them in a storage jar and use them to make bread for yourself. You are to eat it during the three hundred ninety days you lie on your side. That is that's the that's the quote that that company comes from. Yeah, you. That's literally what's written on the front of their box. <laughs> Wait, is Bro, this is actually, he are you actually not messing with us? I am not messing with you, John. When have I ever <laughs> messed with you? Do you want me to answer <laughs> that at like earnestly? <laughs> Hold on. Well, what is what is that? What is that passage? Who is that passage uh, referring to? So it's referring, you, uh, it's referring to Ezekiel because Ezekiel. Um, so Ezekiel had to go through some crap. Okay. He, uh, <laughs> if that if that's the case, then then that means that it's not that's it's not God directly. Then it's Ezekiel. So like, how many how many power, how much power of God does Ezekiel have in a fight between cereal mascots? Well, here's the thing: he owns the company Food for Life, not the cereal itself. Like he owns the cereal, but like his power comes from the company Food for Life. So wouldn't it be sacrilegious then for him to use God as a mascot? A little bit. I don't know. This is. A, this is <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, this is not the theology discussion I expected today. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. So, uh, if that's the, like, <laughs> so, uh, so, like, the question is, does God count as a serial mascot? I'm throwing out no because uh, because Ezekiel would not do that. But here's the thing: God can be whatever He wants or whatever they want to be. Ooh. So, God, if God wanted to be a serial mascot, they could absolutely do that. 
Bro, he's Tony the Tiger. I'm calling it now. <laughs> <laughs> Tony which, was my first which, Tony the which, entire time, says God. All right. Um, God, no debate bullshit. which cereal mascot is God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Tony. It's got to be. My vote's Captain Crunch. Oh, no, God. I'm sticking well, with Tony we, because like, he's, shown... always, he's always positive. He's always trying to help children and families. It, like, yeah, do you it's remember absolutely... the, do you remember the, do you remember the commercial where he cured that athlete of his blindness? <laughs> I hate that my brain was like, wait, did that happen? <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't put it past oh, any God. commercials anymore. Every time I That's laugh hard, I burp, it hurts. <laughs> I'd rather oh. burp than cough. Good God. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, literally. Uh well, we've already, well, according to the to the image, it shows that Jesus Christ is Captain Crunch, according to that image specifically. Oh yeah, true, true. But 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 that's a that that is a uh, that, that's a work of art. True. You can you can also you, you can theoretically say that anybody in uh, in uh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Last Supper is Jesus Christ, just because he said it is doesn't make it true. Here's Bro, the he's thing. The Someone table. else submitted another one too, and Tony's at the center, so. Oh Whoa. my god! See, now we got we got two different doctrines. This is weird. Uh, I'm out. Yep. I'm, this is I'm King James versus NIV. Don't worry. It's just a translation <laughs> issue. King James versus NIV. <laughs> you know what's funny? You say that, and it's actually, it's way more true than you think it is. Like, <laughs> oh my god. There, there's so many differences between them. <laughs> oh, frick. But yeah, it, it's funny that Ezekiel four nine came up because like I'm actually I'm actually trying to like get through like read through the entire thing, and man, Ezekiel had to do so much random crap, man. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There From it is. Genital Mills. It's Scroties. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to read out the fan art on it. I need you Rise to read out the entire for thing. A he Rise and shine for a heaping mouthful of Scroties. 100% vitamin D, 69 grams of sugar. I'm not sorry whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby, your boy. Ruby, your boy, Ruby. Uh, dude, the, uh, like, dude, you should go into freaking, uh, like, okay. design. Because, like, the OA and then it being a U underneath and the, for the, the nose. And the, smi the smiley face, yeah. That's freaking perfect, dude. Okay, here's a challenge. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> what is Love the mascot the for Scroties? Oh, no. No, it's got it's to be the fucking, like, the clippy of dicks. <laughs> is, isn't the, the isn't there already a mascot named, like, Scrody from the Postal it, series? Oh, you know from what? The, They're actually, that the might actually be the case. <laughs> Holy cow. It's got to be what? this, like, clippy-ass looking dick here that they made for the mascot. That's the mascot. <laughs> I think the mascot for Scroties should be a Tanuki. Because <laughs> of the nuts, yeah. Yes, because they're always depicted with large testicles. Oh, uh, frick me. Oh, uh, it's obviously... <laughs> it's obviously DB. Uh, ding dong butt. Good lord. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. So what, so what, what, what would, what would, what would the, the Scroties Tanuki's name be? My balls, someone just said in chat, referring to Reese's horses. Oh, Mabel, My perfect. M-A-B-A-L, uh, -M Mabel. There you go. My ball. <laughs> oh, my dear lord. Someone also said testicles. That could work, too. Testicles. Yep. Do, do, I'm testicles. We bought I'm some popsicles. I'm scroticus. <laughs> <laughs> Scroticus. Uh, bro, three of us are tired and one is in a sugar induced coma. This is a great episode. Well, <laughs> needless to say, I think I woke up. Great. So, <laughs> listen, yeah. we, we, we've discovered God here. Tony the Tiger cured an athlete's blindness. And <laughs> <laughs> which which commercial was that? I think that, it was that, the one. I think it was one. one <laughs> you know, the one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was one based around soccer. <laughs> hey, about, Tony! What about can both you, of you? Can heal my blindness? Hey, Tony! <laughs> can you do it? Can, can, you help, can you please help me see? You're the, only, you're the one and only tiger who, who I'd follow without question. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, how God. to take my eyesight and make it great! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, Frosted Flakes, now with a thousand percent of your daily recommended beta carotene. <laughs> we'll give you 20-20 vision or your money back. <laughs> you you will see God. <laughs> <laughs> What, that would be the most threatening thing you could put on a cereal box. I've decided right now, if I went to the grocery store... Frosted Flakes, you will see God or else. <laughs> like, can you imagine if just, like, there was a printing error and, like, the Honey Nut Cheerios at the grocery store had just, you will see God written underneath the logo. Holy You'd be sir. like, what's happening? What... Something is wrong somewhere. I would eat that. I would eat that cereal. I would eat that cereal if the uh, under the guise that I would see God. You don't think it's a That's vague more. threat or anything like that? That's the problem. I mean, the only other option is I eat the cereal and have an orgasm. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is it does feel like a vague threat. Like it feels like the cereal will kill you. So, I mean, this this cereal's full of razor blades. <laughs> you wanna meet God? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking Freddy uh, Krueger cereal now? <laughs> very 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 dark jokes can come from this. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what, do you like Jesus? Well, you eat this and you're going to meet him. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, hey, that'd be a great advertisement for a competitor cereal. <laughs> <coughs> we here at Kellogg's want you to know that any General Mills cereal will help you see God. And this is why we're never getting that sponsorship. <laughs> Not from Fanta, no. Now, now, okay, so now there's a God cereal. Is there a uh, devil cereal? It's like it's like made with just capsaicin. <laughs> it's like oh, that's hot. just like cinnamon, cinnamon O's or whatever the hell they were called. Cinnamon? Cin I've never heard of that. I'm trying to remember, there's like some like spicy cinnamon cereal. Hang on. Ugh, spicy with milk. That's that's just well, that's kind is. of counterintuitive. Ooh, so cinnamon Fuego. Fuego Toast Crunch. I literally <laughs> just had some like a few weeks ago on breakfast stream. Is it cinnamon uh, flavor? Is it like is it like hot hot or is it or is it just it like it is um, hot? It Ooh. is hot in a way I was not prepared for. Huh. Because I was thinking, you know, oh, it's you know, it's probably not that bad, and even if it is, it's in a bowl of milk. Infernos. I, I was wrong. It, Here, it I've got it on very screen. Spicy. I have never seen that before. It, it's very, it's fairly recent. Also, mm. the five point nine ounce pouch is uh really selling it for me. I'm assuming, I figured I, this was just like a snacking thing and not like a cereal, but I guess it is. This is General Mills, so. We That's found about... it, we, we, were, we were walking through a Walmart at 11 p.m., as you do, and it was <laughs> in the clearance section for 75 cents. I'm not surprised. Haley spotted it and was like, well, this is a breakfast stream segment, and I was like, it absolutely is, and then I bought it. <laughs> uh, currently, on Walmart.com, you can order it for six bucks. Oh, Erica Six saw that. dollars. Yep. Six U human U.S. dollars. Human dollars. Yes. Erica, Jesus. do not, do not buy that cereal for me. Do not, because I will die. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Oh yeah, we were talking a long ass time ago about uh, Stubbs had a Dr Pepper barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's still okay. Last time we checked the price of it, it was like fifty bucks. Wow. Oh, dude. Oh, that reminds me of that one cereal that's like super freaking fancy. Uh, like Morning the, the Summit. Yeah, Morning Summit. How much was that again? Morning Summit is available at the Costco for like twelve ninety nine, but you can what? get it at the Walmart for like twenty six ninety nine. What is this thing Good you're describing? It's, a, it's like a really, it's like a quote unquote fancy cereal. It's it's not well, the it. Hmm. Morning Summit is a complicated cereal. Morning Summit is an it's an expensive cereal, but I am not convinced that it is an overpriced cereal. That's the problem. Because like, if it, you if you go toe to toe with how full you will feel 
I think that Morning Summit will probably last you longer than like <clears throat> any other cereal. Uh, who who here is who here has had Stubbs barbecue sauce before? Yeah, I've had that before. I have. Why does the bottle look like a Yoo Hoo bottle? Oh. I thought you were still tying it back to breakfast cereal because I had I was gonna ask you if anyone had seen this cereal before. Holy crap. Is it a barbecue cereal? No. <laughs> oh no, it's just called <laughs> Holy Crap. Oh, holy crap. Holy and uh, okay, it's holy crap written in like and that I don't know if that's Ariel or, or uh, fun or not, but it's like but the the description for it is written in Comic Sans, the most amazing breakfast cereal. Th this uh, yeah, there this, there's this so many real. different fonts on this. This is real. I've had this. I think it was on like Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. It, it's like it's supposed to be one of those like super healthy ones where it's just like this is like a bunch of like flaxseed kind of mixings and stuff like that. You ever had hot Dr. Pepper? Nope. I don't think I've had actual Dr. Pepper. It's uh, it's hit or miss with with some people. I love it, but I can see why other people wouldn't. There was an ad, the, the, uh, in order to try to sell more Dr. Pepper. There was an ad in the '60s, um, that was like try Dr. Pepper hot, and it was like it gave you like all the all the the um, what do you call it? The directions for how to do it, which is literally just heat up Dr. Pepper over your stovetop, then cut a lemon into it. Hmm. And ha have you tried it? I, I haven't, but I should. Apparently that sounds a like a good stream crafts. idea. Have, um, have Cooking all... stream, hot Dr. Pepper. <laughs> have y'all tried um, uh, the, it's like the Flaming Hot Cheetos Mountain Dew? It's no. Like there's, I, there's like a Baja I... Blast, but it's like hot. That sounds really good, because I, I love Baja <laughs> Blast, and I like spicy, so. That sounds I, it... like too many things. Yeah, it, well, it does. It really does sound like it. I, I can't remember the exact name of it, but uh, the, yeah, the, like Mountain Dew is like the Taco Bell of of uh, soda. Like they are just well, yeah, because like the best flavor of Mountain Dew comes from Taco Bell. No, no, I I agree with that. But what I mean, what I mean by that is like they're always like trying to push the envelope with the crazy crap they can get away with. <laughs> like there's so many different weird flavors of Mountain Dew. Just like you can get like Omega Crazy Bread, at, like freaking Taco Bell. Like it, it's it's nutty. Uh, just overall, they they sell out of that Mexican pizza really fast whenever it comes around. Oh, to, the yeah, point, they do. The, to the point that they're probably just like I'm pretty sure they like bring it back every like three months or so. Bro, I miss the um, the Doritos Locos Tacos that were the Cool Ranch chips. Like they only have the uh, the nacho cheese ones now, which are okay. But dude, I miss those freaking Cool Ranch ones, man. Those were so good. The um. Oh man, what was I gonna say? Like you can put flaming hot on a lot of like the flaming hot spice on like a lot of snacks, and I'd like it. My uh, um, they did that with uh with uh smart food popcorn at one point. Oh hmm. my god, it was so good, dude. Smart food popcorn, like the 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 black bags with the with the the white butter popcorn or whatever. Oh my god, or white yep. cheddar popcorn. Yep. Holy frick, that that was like my go to snack for a road trip. Um. And like I, I don't really eat it that much anymore because like it freaks my stomach up a little bit. But man, God, that was my favorite. 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 I miss, I miss white cheddar popcorn, dude. It's still there. Oh, I know. I just can't really eat it that much. Because you don't get an opportunity to, or because it like messes with your insides. Because he's too busy popcorn. holding steaks. Do you get, do you, do you, yeah, do you end up getting like? Do you get up getting like fonted like uh, like Stephen does? I'm already yeah getting fonted. Fanta, that's a uh, that's now a verb. Yep. Stephen, you just Steven, created Steven, a verb. Stephen got Stephen got fonted hardcore. Yep. My favorite got. thing. Fanta. My favorite thing about all of this is that I am on can number God knows, but the <laughs> the interesting thing is that. You know, if you were to pour it all into like one thing, it's it, I haven't actually even consumed that much Fanta. When when you said I'm on and like we're talking about like this sugary horrible beverage, my first thought was that you're, was that you're gonna be like, you know, the good thing is I'm on dialysis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, did God. Steven say he was not actually drinking that much Fanta, and now he's saying that he's actually see he didn't like or I, didn't he say he was drinking too much, and now he's saying he hasn't drank all that much. 
I think I'm he's drinking saying. copium is why I think he's drinking. I think you're Here's right. Here's the thing. You, oh, you inhale that, unless he's like busted the tank open and he's, and he's drinking, uh, drinking yeah. straight <laughs> ass. <laughs> these, these hands. That's the, that's the thing. We never actually finished the story. So the cans are small, John. Yeah, how many They're can you hold? Small. That was I where we hold... got sidelined because we started talking about steaks. Yeah, sorry. We Now that we've cleared that up, I would like to finish the story. So we we had established that I have large hands. I can hold eight steaks. And these because of like that, that, because of that, these cans are so tiny. They're they're little comical cans. I hate them. I like I like I have a visceral disgust of the size of this tiny little can. Because uh, probably because I've had so many of them today. <laughs> Ladies you and gentlemen, boys. You just said you hadn't drank that much. Ladies and it gentlemen, boys lot, and actually. girls, if if you've been with and everywhere in between, if you've been with us this this far. You just heard the end of that story from an hour ago. <laughs> In conclusion, <laughs> I just want to say that I don't think Fanta is very good. Um, I have enjoyed but drinking I like them it. today. I hope I never drink them again, but I will be drinking some tomorrow. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the uh, the the away. deal the the dealer dealer no deal for the Nintendo DS video? I'm familiar with it. There's gonna be a mail video coming soon where you're gonna be doing you're gonna be doing that with cans of Fanta. I swear to God, if anyone sends me uh, these these orange Fantas, I will I am taking them straight to a place where someone else will drink them. <laughs> You mean what you should have done in the first place? You, you, you know what, Steven? I'll give Captain Crunch a call. You could borrow his crunchitizing telescope. And you can take them wherever you want. I love that. Also, if you're sending him Fanta, make sure it's the small cans. <laughs> please do not send me. Please do not send me any of this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is this I right here I is the. The reason I don't have a PO box. <laughs> I, I will be. I will be so mad. I will be so mad. I can't wait till you go to a convention, Stephen, and somebody People just, just hands having you signed bottles of vodka. Either that or just hands them to you like one by one. Here's the thing: people have mailed soda before, and there's some really interesting sodas. Like people have mailed in like. Like mustard soda and ranch soda and like, like all these pick, other pickle weird soda, things. yeah. Like so like, the, like weird weird so, like side of the road attraction sodas. Like don't don't send me Fanta. I can buy Fanta anywhere. <laughs> send me something interesting, like you know, uh, if it's just, the flavor of a ghost or yeah, a, just something. just from this the image alone, I see. Well, you know, John, ghost flavor. Oh, they might not have that up there. But, what what is what is going on? <laughs> God damn it, Steven! <laughs> well, it's like you know, it's like an ethereal flavor. Can you, can you describe it for me? It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just from a list I see here, I see uh, the pickle soda, um, ranch soda, uh, buffalo wing soda, grass soda, and butter soda. Ugh. Ooh. Butter. There's a crab one Ooh. too, isn't there? <laughs> that sucker better have Old Bay in if there's a crab one. You, listen, you, you, I've either got Mountain Dew or crab juice. There's actually, um, there's a, at this point, I don't know that anyone anywhere could send me something that I don't have access to because we have a specialty soda store in Raleigh and we just went a few days ago. And it's called Rocket Fizz and they have hundreds, if not thousands, of like different sodas. I found one on here called Unicorn Yak. Unicorn Yak. On the label, it's uh, it's like that's the flavor. On the label, it's a unicorn throwing up a rainbow. <laughs> oh yeah, then there was the uh, recently Pepsi had their limited edition Peep soda. P Peepsy, oh, yeah. if you will. Peepsy. Oh my I god. I, that. I dude. I don't think I'll ever have another peep, man. Like they, like they were good whenever I was younger, but I can't. 
I just can't eat them no more, man. They're they're just they're too much. <laughs> like one peep is too much. Yeah, a lot of Easter candy is like that. You got like the the peeps are like are like incredibly sweet, and they're like the like the outside is like crusted in sugar, where it feels like your teeth are gonna fall out when you put one in your mouth. Accurate. Uh, Cadbury cream eggs feel like you're gonna die of diabetic shock by putting one by just eating one. I tell you which ones I do. They're delicious. I, let's not, let's not kid ourselves. They're yeah, delicious. Say, but, man, yeah, they are a lot. <laughs> Yeah, they are a lot. Um, the the ones that I can eat and that I have a problem are the freaking Reese's eggs. The yeah. Reese's eggs, those are like, oh, uh, that and and whenever uh, it's like Christmas time, you get the little Christmas tree ones. Oh my god! Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, so it's, it's basically the shape like whatever holiday it is, yeah. and then filled with filled with whatever. Put have, those suckers have, in the freezer, man. Oh, Jared, did I tell you guys? You tried... well, they have hmm? a, they have a new Reese's cup. Do they? It has the balls in it, the little Reese's. <laughs> it's got Reese's pieces in it. Come again? No, 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 no. It doesn't got the pieces. It has the, what's the puff, the cereals. Oh, it's got Reese's puffs in it. Yeah, yeah, Wait, sorry. Wait, what? That's <laughs> nuts, actually. Hold on. From the makers of Scrotes, Reese's cups with the balls in them. <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were called. Uh, what the were you puffs. gonna say, John? Uh, I was going to ever tell you guys the story about uh, how one of my viewers sent me 32 Oreo Cadbury cream eggs. Oh, an Oreo to boot? Oh, those sound so good, but I can feel I can feel my insulin rising just hearing that. So Stephen can attest to this. I've talked about this uh, before. Like that, that was like my favorite treat for the longest time around Easter. Was like they always did like a Cadbury cream egg, but the inside was like Oreo cookies and cream mix. Yeah. And uh, this year, I just they disappeared they i couldn't find them anywhere i did a search online they said they were discontinued so i was like oh no my favorite treat probably for the best i shouldn't be eating chocolate but uh i'm bummed out and then one of my viewers was like hey i'm gonna look on like canadian tire i'm gonna look on the store i found a store near you that can, that has some i'm gonna send every single one of the ones they have there to your p.o box so i go to the p.o box i just have this giant like bubble wrap envelope that's just like I it's super loose and like everything's shaking around inside of it. I open it up, 32 loose Oreo Cadbury cream eggs just rolling around inside of it. It's just like this <laughs> giant nonsensical bag. It was hilarious. I love that. And then I ate three Absolutely of them and like that. in one sitting. I was like, oh, this was a bad idea. And then I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like okay, let's pace ourselves out on this. <laughs> Yeah, K16 did it, and they said, side note to the story, the post office sent it to the wrong part of Alberta. Yeah, they sent it to the wrong address somehow. They got my address Ooh. backwards. The, Viewers uh, once sent us, like, a thousand Werther's Originals. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, uh, I remember that. I remember in a vlog with that, because you offered them to Jepson, and it was a giant, one of the, and it was just one of probably many giant bags, right? It was a big old bag, and it was, like, it was like bigger than a baby. So, like, just imagine a baby... But then replace the baby's like, like human internal parts. organs with yeah, with like <laughs> with butterscotch. Just imagine that. Or no, was it was it butterscotch or caramel? Uh, they're butterscotch. Okay. Right. Right. I think they made. I think they made caramel were those originals. Well, these are the normal ones, and the normal ones are butterscotch. Someone in the in the uh, the chat said butterscotch baby, and that sounds like the name of like a like a nineteen twenties gangster. Yeah, we've got we, we've got we've got Sloan, we've got legs, and we got butterscotch baby. Tag yourself, I'm legs. I've been uh, <laughs> I've been um I've been eating a ton of uh, York peppermint patties. Oh, I love those. They are delicious, and I found a recipe to make them at home, so I'm gonna give that a shot. Oh. It's it, it, it's it, like the filling is is three ingredients: powdered sugar, sweetened condensed milk, and uh, and uh, peppermint e extract. And then Ooh. you just you just make it into a, into a dough. You 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 freeze it, then you melt chocolate over a uh, over a double boiler, and then you dip the uh, the pepper the uh, the the mint part into there, and then let them cool. Interesting. Bro, you're making me want to go bake some cookies, man. I'm like I'm like craving that crap now. Craven, the hunter. How do you make homemade Fanta? <laughs> you oh, don't. No. Oh no! Hang on. You you gotta start with a cup of disappointment. 
<laughs> All right, where, where do I get that? What store do I go to to get that? Uh, well, you, can, you can get disappointment from, at home. From the, from, the, <laughs> from the blog, I really like food.com, how to make homemade Fanta. Although, what this uh. probably is, is, um, so Fanta in the U.S. is different from Fanta in other places. Fanta in other places is like, uh, is like orange, like carbonated orange juice. So this is probably that. Uh, the so ingredients you're telling are, me that are, in other places, it does contain juice. Yeah, I would believe so. Yes, the ingredients for homemade Fanta, on the, according to this blog, are one lemon, five oranges, three cups of water, two and a half cups of soda water, strange, and two thirds cup of sugar. This takes three and a half hours to make. So the one I found here says uh, DIY Fanta, 400 grams of sugar, zest of three oranges, juice of three oranges, juice of two tangerines. Top up with water or adjust by drinking until you have 300 milliliters of juice total. And then add 7.5 grams just of citric by acid. drinking. I'm reading what it says. Oh, God. Man. I'm what reading what it says. Just by drinking. What uh, is the, the zest of an orange? So the zest of any sort of, like, fruit is, like, you, uh, you grate the, uh, you, you like, finally grate the, the, uh, the rind a little bit. Oh, okay, got it. I've never yeah, heard that. Here, uh, here's a perfect picture. I found this site had like images and everything. So, Jared, if you're watching the VOD, mm -hmm. the, the actual stream, that's what zesting looks like. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, gotcha. Cool. Generally, it's like because a lot some recipes will call for like the oil of um of a yeah of something and of like a fruit, and usually it comes from the rind. So zesting is a good way to get the oil out without like trying to actually like break your back trying to compress a rind into giving you a, sm a minuscule amount of oil. Gotcha, also, okay. if you just really want to smell a lemon better, you can just zest it, and your your house will smell like lemon. Okay, I learned something today. Learned how to zest a lemon. I learned that Fanta's <laughs> one of his rotated <laughs> drinks. I just I, I I just think about like you're in the kitchen with uh, and and you're cooking with somebody who doesn't know how to cook, and it's like get me get me the uh, the the cheese grater. And they hand it to you, and you're like, "You fool! That's a zester." I said, "The cheese grater." Tom, was this the cereal you were looking yes! for? Yes, that's it. Post mega uh, good mornings. Waffle crunch is just waffle crisp. Hmm. Waffle crunch is just waffle crisp. I don't think I've ever heard Tom that excited. <laughs> Dude, I loved waffle crisp growing up, and I've had and I've had uh, I've had good morning cereal before. I just couldn't remember for the life of me what it was called. And that's more widely available than Waffle Crisp. Shout out to, to Ink Nova for finding that one. Yeah, thank you. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> we, we did nothing but talk about food this entire, or, or food adjacent things this entire podcast. I'm so glad I eat dinner before we do this show. Except for the Dragon Ball talk, because I noticed one of the talking points is let that child alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, speaking of, let's talk about the talking points for this episode of Disc Only here. This is the list I have from Dan. Don't want a Fanta. This episode was a mistake. <laughs> Contains no juice. Oh. Let that child alone. Ah. Tricks are for kids. Ah. Scrodios. Huh? Honey Monster. Uh. The Last Breakfast. Oh, ghost flavored soda. Ooh. And DIY patty. Eh. Tom, what you got going on? Uh, a lot of streaming. Uh, I've been consistently playing uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom uh, once a week for five hours and then ed editing that down to two videos. Uh, so you can see pretty much all of it on, uh, on either of my YouTube channels right now. Uh, I did stream a little bit today before we started, so there was one episode that hasn't gone up yet. Probably by the maybe by the time you're watching this later, that episode will have gone up yet. Especially if it's like three years down the line. Um, the other thing <laughs> I've been I've been regularly streaming is uh, is uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and oh my god, that game is wild. I've been doing a randomizer Nuzlocke, and when I'm done with that, uh, a viewer of mine gave me a, uh, a a code to input into Pokemon Infinite Fusion that makes it so whenever I. Uh, Whenever I catch a Pokemon, it also gives me a Quagsire. So I'm just going to do a run of all Quagsire fusions at some point. Hmm. Uh, that'll that'll be after the Nuzlocke. 
uh, but and, uh, and and we will see. I also have from a um, a charity stream that John and I did. I set a goal to play uh, Book of Mario, which is uh, Paper Mario sixty four run through a translator several times, um, and that will be happening sometime in the near future. Tom, I need you to Goodness. look at this the stream. I see. Oh, no, I see Troji. I see Troji, the Scrody's mascot. Troji coming in hot to penetrate your hunger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my god Rudy, I, that's amazing. I, I, I love that his legs look like wheels like sonic sonic running wheels it's so good uh anything else i've been doing other than that usual just like the regular among us and uh like a regular multiplayer sessions like like things like among us mario kart um gardic phone things like that uh probably gonna try and change it up in a in a uh uh, mix it up a little bit in, the, in in days to come, but we'll see. Steven goes after Tom. I go after Tom. Uh, so we're doing breakfast stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern, as always. The game that we've been playing on Friday oh. evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern has also been Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now that's uh, a peepsy. Sorry, I, there's a very tiny Pepsi on the screen. Uh, similar to Tom, we also play that once a week, but we play it for less time, and then also there's like another person there with me. Um, that's my wife. Hence the uh, so we we've, we've been you know slowly going through. <coughs> I've got manatee with me. That's fair. Does does do you swap turns with manatee? <laughs> we tried once. Um, he wasted all my arrows and uh, and promptly got himself killed. Fair enough. So we've been doing we've been doing Zelda. Um, <laughs> oh my Mal, god! <laughs> Mal also is streaming um, at twitch.tv slash Malmix. That's going to be happening tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. She's been doing that every week. I have to uh, do my job, Stephen. I'm sorry. On the screen there, where we said, "Oh my god," was a Reese's cup, the one with the balls in it, and the the, the cross section where it's been cut out is censored. So, <laughs> thank you, Steel Bouncer, for that. Sorry, <laughs> that, that just freaked me up, man. Continue. If you, any, if you need Continue. any cooking help, you know, for instance, like if you're like, what the hell does zest mean? Then Mal's streams are great because you can learn um, that there. So I highly recommend those. And then otherwise, I'm actually starting to do solo streams now. I did one today, and I'm going to try and be doing them uh, weekly. I don't have yeah, a time but slot it for was, that. But... It, was, it was a massive stream. The file size is over 200 gigabytes. Yeah, I didn't say anything at the time, but I recorded the stream in 4K. So, like, we streamed in 1080, but I recorded it in 4K because I just wanted to do that. Even in 4K, um, it shouldn't have been that big. Yeah, well, the, yeah, I'm, I'm tweaking the settings. I had the settings on, like... You had to like, drive the file over to Dan. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Listen, I suffered... And now Dan suffers, and we both suffer together until I get the settings uh, a little bit better. I'll work on it. That's it. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> um, uh, normal streams for me, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at 4.30 Eastern. Um, I have something very, very special to announce Friday the, what is it? Um, Friday the 16th. Um, there is a very special thing that is coming down the pipeline to celebrate uh, the 1 million subscriber uh, yeah! milestone. Congratulations. Th thank you very much. Congrats. <laughs> uh, so we, uh, we have something very, very special to, uh, to show off. And um, you guys and gals could possibly get your hands on something really, really cool, uh, which will be going to um, help with charity as well. So, this Friday, I will have a video come out on YouTube about it. Either it's going to be a part of the video that I'm already doing or um, the base. I might just do like an extra thing and maybe even a, a short or something. But I have a huge announcement um, on Friday. So look forward to that. I will be showing off. I'll be showing off exactly what it is on cast on Friday as well. Uh, the 16th. So if it's past the 16th, um, it it should still be active until like next month. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. Um, and, uh, in, in personal life, I'm on day 94 of my drawing challenge that nice. I, uh, that I was talking about last Ooh. year's or last week's or last month's podcast. So I'm almost there and I'm excited because I have a really cool little comparison thing that I'm going to do. My first thing I ever drew was Iba from, um, 
uh, AI, the Somnium Files, the little uh, bear eyeball character or whatever. And I'm going to redraw it. And I'm going to post that because I've never, I don't really post my art anywhere, but I'm, I'm very excited to show the increase in uh, what call it that can happen in a hundred days. So that is it for me. Uh, look forward to Friday, this Friday. Jared, take a look at the screen right now. Uh, uh, all I see is your beautiful face, Tom. Well, oh, all of our it's, beautiful it's faces. Back up, sorry. Okay, there we go. Ezekiel 2320. She <laughs> It's that Ezekiel. It's that Ezekiel four nine serial, but with Ezekiel twenty three twenty three nine instead. It says she lusted for the lectures of Egypt, whose members are like those of donkeys, whose thrusts are like those of stallions. Actual line from the Bible. Yeah, oh, absolutely. The Bible's wild, man. Oh, I got me. I, was, I, I like. I started reading it. I'm just like, wait, wait. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> I know what that says. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, I am not going anywhere for a couple months, which is kind of nice. Uh, we were late doing the podcast this month because I was on a road trip with my lovely wife. We drove from here, Calgary, Alberta, to Boston. <laughs> that was five days of driving, 40 hours. And that um, is fricked. That was a long... My legs still hurt from that, so <laughs> I've been a bit squirmy and wiggly because of it. Uh... But yeah, uh, not going anywhere for a while, so I'm back on normal schedule for the most part. Tomorrow, I'm going to continue uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected, because uh, we're doing that for game clearing. Saturday is Fortune Cookie, and then next week, I'm actually going to try a different schedule for once. I don't know if it's going to stick, but I'm just going to try it for the week. I'm going to try a Friday, Saturday, Sunday stream schedule, mm. uh, and I'm going to try to start them around 6 p.m p.m. 6 30 p.m. mountain time uh because i want to try out having like uh and this weird schedule i have right now is basically like i'm on off on off on off i want to try just having like a couple days in a row that are off and see how i feel physically see if it feels different than my normal schedule so i'm going to mess around with the schedule a bit this month but i am still doing at least three streams uh, a month we are back to doing game clearing finally uh we finished act razor 2 last night uh, we're working on Xenoblade, and then when that's done, Lord knows what I'm going to play next, but I've been in a very retro mood lately, so don't be surprised if I try to bash my head against some Genesis games. Like, I, the Adventures of Batman and Robin still evades me for a clear, so I may go back to trying that one. Uh, yeah, otherwise, the usual stuff. We're almost done the cookie jar, so that's the viewer choices are almost completed. We have about 35 of those left, I think. And then once those are done, we'll reopen the cookie jar for people to submit their own game choices. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, same as usual for me. Dan, what you got going on? Um, well, uh, I guess the the usual Twitch.tv slash uh, my name, Motion Dan. Um, <laughs> but uh, also, just want to give little plugs to all my friends. Um, uh, for TRG, we just uh, started, kind of just started, uh, Metroid. It's really great. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a part recently, uh, you'll just have to watch it. Um, when is that even coming yeah. up? That's pretty soon, isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, it's, up today. I think it's this week. Oh God. Um, yeah, it's great. It's really, it's something else. Um, we also, yeah, if you know, I've been, I've been playing a lot of, uh, Zelda and what's really refreshing is watching two of my dear friends play it. When where they're they only no six they're... hours in yeah. <laughs> and it's it's just you know it's neat um oh and then also um you know of course congrats jared oh thank you and um of course always watch this stuff and uh tom um there's an episode is it out yet, Tom? No, I'm, 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 posting, I'm posting that one tomorrow. Uh, Queen, okay. Queen, Queen Slump makes her debut. God, um, in guys, my, in just my Pokemon, watch it. In my Pokemon Nuzlocke, <laughs> uh, we get a combination of uh, Jinx and Slacking. So uh, get ready for that. Yeah, it's just watch this, this series. It's great. Um, and that's it. Oh, and Mal makes streams. Uh, she's always... Great. She's great. I know her personally. She brings me Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's not that great. Never mind. 
so much Fanta on my desk. Mal, bring him more uh, Fanta, please. Canton, Canta, Fanta, and Fanta. Oh my god, I'm uh, fine. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm so good. All right. Uh, unless something comes up again, we should be on. Oh, actually, uh, next podcast will be Fourth of July. I'm assuming we're probably gonna have to reschedule that. I, I'm not doing anything. Uh, I. I mean, I'm gonna I eat a hot know. dog. I mean, I'm Canadian, I so mean, it doesn't like, matter to me. I always, <laughs> I'm, I'm lo like looking for ways to like have parties. So I'll probably, we might have a party. I don't know. Okay. We'll, so, we'll we'll play that by ear for sure. Yeah, yeah. So either was, either seven either seven four or seven eleven. Dude, we can come to the podcast at seven eleven with seven eleven slushies, and we'll say what flavor we got. Fanta. <laughs> they do have a flavor. I know they. Do. That is the blue flavor. I, I hate know that so much. <laughs> I'm so upset. And even though it's blue, it's probably orange flavor. <laughs> no, it's raspberry. Oh my god! All right, well that's gonna do it then. So it's either the, it's either on uh, it's either on America Day or convenience store day, whichever one it lands on. That's which uh, which day. which weird which weirdly enough are all are both America Day. <laughs> Every day is America Day. You all right, Stephen? In America, do you, do you, first off, you know the answer to that question. Second <laughs> off, no. <laughs> Uh, no, I am not. Oh my god. Special thank you to Pops for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and our producer is Motion Dan. God save us all, everybody. Don't forget to order your box of Scrodios today. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next time. They're just Scrodies. Oh, he's out. Yeah, uh, the, the, the face made me think it was Scrodios, even though it's you. Scrodios is like the 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 next version of it. Like they they make a new one. I just really want some Cheerios, Cheerios, I think. Is, Scrodios is the extra series of Yu-Gi-Oh that didn't do so well. What does cocaine smell like? Fanta, orange what? Fanta. Scrodios. <laughs> Tom, what's the like... context on that one? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Rip. Normally, normally, I, I was worried it was going to be a burnt toast situation. It might actually have been. Tommy will be missed. I will remember. He was a great guy. What was his name? He was Tom. Tom, that's it. We'll probably remember that next week. Bye, everybody.